Oh, it looks like we are live. Good afternoon, folks. How's it going? Again, Coach Mike here with Marshall Motion here on Saturday at 3 o'clock. Uh, today's level will be level 3, um, as some of us already know. So we'll just get a bit more into our cardio this time around. Now, we've been working on rotation and some static poses, um, but we're going to get a bit of timed cardio motion in as well. Okay, so we're gonna start out a little bit low first. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and angle my camera down just a bit so we can get on the ground. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go in timed motion. And we're gonna go ahead and have ourselves a nice finger here. I got myself a nice clock. And we're gonna go two bits. Just getting the hips nice and open here. Okay, now after the First minute, we're going to get into a little bit more dynamicism. Okay, so first we're going to start out with our crab position here. Okay, and just beneath the shoulders, feet just beneath the knees. We're going to go up for a big bridge, one hand parallel to the ground. Okay, like so. So raise the hips up and palm faces down. My gaze is at my palm as well. And then I bring my hips back down. I'm leaving my heels on the ground. I'm not raising my heels off the ground. Good extension. You go ahead and part your feet is the most comfortable for you. Give yourself the best stature, posture as you can. Try and keep your weight in both legs. Okay? Then I'll call the switch from there. Then we're going to go and turn into our kick throughs. Okay? So that's when we kick up, land one foot, kick through the other, and then we land on the other foot on a hop as we turn our hips neutral, land on one. Kick through the other one hand to the hip, arm to the body, and we extend that leg just short of all the way. Okay, here comes the bell. Going for our bridges. Good position. And go. Raise those hips up. Get some extension. Reach towards where your fingers are pointing. Toes facing in front of me, fingers facing behind me. Now we're not really going for speed here. Just opening the hips up. Your range is exactly that. So respect what your limits are. Raising the hips up. We're trying to keep weight in both legs. Make sure the hands are on a safe level. Each time, bring them down to the floor. 20 seconds. Also make sure that all four corners of the hand are to the ground as well. Really based in on my full hand, not just cupping at the palms. Okay, and we switch to those kick throughs and go. Kicking through, I pivot. Land on the ball of the foot, quietly. I'm gonna to turn to face you laterally now. I have good stability in my core and my arms. Give yourself a little more height, but still landing soft. My leg kicks parallel to the ground. That's 30 seconds. Hand to the head, arm to the body. Keep going. Good and stable in those hands and arms. One foot on the ground at a time. And time. Up on our feet. Let's go. Gonna go down and up. Get some laterally. Keep your postures up right as you can. Hands up. One knee at a time. What we can use here is our yoga mat. Just for the knees being met to the ground. Okay. And go. Down, up, up. We'll go as quiet as you can on those knees. 30 seconds. I'm going without. 
as I said before, I want to make sure that I'm meeting the ground with good intention, good balance, easy, no sound. You stay on your yoga mat, 10 seconds. Up, up, down, down. And time. Okay, and with my camera up now, we're going to go into our strikes. Punching straight across our body. My feet out of hips with the part. Both hands up. A frame in front. B frame at the side. Ready? And go. Turn. Turn. So again, I'm giving my lateral view. Make sure I'm punching straight across my body. Nice. Keep going. One minute. As we get to open up the hips, right? Turning at the heel, feeling that sensation opening up in the core, right? Through our rotation. Now again, our fists, right? Nice square fist and nice and straight at the wrist. My thumb comes over my first two fingers nearest it. A nice compact fist. Okay, back into it. Again, still keeping all five toes. 30 seconds. Now, I want that breath with each one. Snap in and out. Now, I want you to imagine a surface which you're going through with that thrust. Turn your hips, turn your shoulder, or twist. And time, front kick, side kick, back kick, okay? Keep my posture as upright as I can. I'm gonna go front kick, try not to move my hands. Side kick and back kick. When I put my back, my toes, and my heel are facing east-west. This is my foot parallel to the ground, okay? I'm gonna do the same to my right. Kick, kick, and kick. Ready? Toes and heels are facing east west. Then I switch. Now, if you don't have the balance, feel free to touch the foot to the ground for each strike. Try not to squeam too much, but go for it. You need that for your counter balance. Left, 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 back, right, 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 back. And that same complete tightness in the core. Right again, you can touch the ground or not between each kick, same side. But of course, we need to touch the ground when we transfer. Kick back, toes, and heel facing opposite directions, horizontal. Make sure you're still based out very good on that glazed leg. Maybe even a slight bit of the knee will help your posture. Try to resist counterbalancing here. What do I mean by that? Swinging the arm down, right? To help my balance. Try to work independently. My core. Leave it just to one extremity with the extension. 30 seconds coming up. Back slightly from front kick into the side slightly from my side kick and front lean from my back kick. Well, cut those hips. Keep controlling your breath. And time. Uh, straight kicks up in the sky. Keeping my leg as straight as I can as I go almost like a short sword. Soldier march, right? Up, down, leg as straight as you can. Here we go. Swing the corresponding arm for counterbalance. What I want you to do here as well is raise the heel each time. 
raise that heel. Still stay base on five toes. And go. Kick straight up. Kick straight up. Don't worry about reps. Repetitions, give as many in as you can to stretch out whatever may ail you, whatever's tight. Swing that arm down. Keep the other one up. Take the head, take the body. And now we switch. This time we're going to go from the inside route, outside, circular, pressing kick. Step one, kick with the other. We're going to counterbalance with the corresponding arm. And as for our balance, try to raise the heel off the ground each time. Step, raise that heel. Take it a little higher with each one. Make sure we keep control on the way down as well. Base in all five toes. Raise and lower. And switch. This time from the outside in. Step. Outside in. Step. Outside in. Toes. Still point up towards the sky. My foot is flex. Spinny arm. 10 seconds. Swing that arm before the leg rises. Let's strike ourselves. And time. Okay, let's go ahead and get some water. Back in. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Okay, so let's go ahead and meet in our nice deep prayer squats. Butts nice and low, hands pressed together, and my arms on the inside of my thigh. Elongating spine, good upright posture, head slightly tilted up. Four more deep, controlled breaths. In through the nose to the base of the lungs and let go. Through the mouth. In. Pause and out. Good straight spine, head slightly tilted up. That's in time. Now I'm going to push away. Now here's where we get our yoga mat. If you're already on your mat, feel free to just sink back onto it. Okay, so not to be into my break ball. Okay, those that have seen the break ball, my butt touched the ground. I'm just going to push away. Lightly land on my butt. Push away. Down, up, extend the legs, and go. Arms along my side, my feet straight out, and I'm going to go back to my plow position. Okay, so this is going to bring my legs nice and straight. I'm going to bring my thighs to a relatively parallel line with the ground. Flex the feet, you can bend any point, you can point. I just want a little bit of an internal rotation, turning the knees directly towards the face so the thighs are touching. All right, so now from our file position here, I'm going to bring one foot behind one knee, and rise to my combat base. Okay, Keep that lead foot, the knees facing up, it's going to kick slightly ahead. The other foot I'm going to raise up to my combat base, and then here, right here, the slower we go, right, the more we're going to challenge our balance, right? So, spring the legs forward for momentum, 
right? We'll come up with another part of the position, but go really slow, and then you fall back like I just did, right? So here, raise up. Slow does it, right? Then I switch here, go back to that plow position. Nice active stretch, along the hammy, throw it back, other foot behind the other knee. Over back to that combo face. Knees up slow if you can. Or if you need the assistance of the hands, right? I'll go over the side, the knees down. Much like our technical stand up. Up and just go sit forward for a good stretch. Back down. Back to plow. Foot behind the knee. Back there. Double in back. More on my hip and on my tailbone. It's even better for that impact. Picks up. Down. So two more. Down with control. Back to that uh, position. Back to the head. Those hips forward, no eight movements. Use a little momentum if you need to. And last one. Next. And uh, okay, now we're going to come back to standing position here. Okay, let's get back into our strikes. Okay, so now what I want to get into is just basically flowing into round kicks. Okay, so again, the round kick starts with a uh, an upward vertical trajectory, turns diagonal, and begins to turn horizontal along its plane of motion. Okay, so the vertical motion is through lifting that heel off the ground, right? And that's pushing from the ball of my foot, I raise up and Via my pivot on my plant leg, which is my left now, right? Notice my toe turns out. I can even step with my foot already turned out that 45 degree angle, thus making my pivot even easier and available. So here, step, push, kick up, diagonal, sideways, and let the momentum carry back down to my original position. Okay? So again, my counterbalance. Same side arm, right? Step, kick, and through. Step, kick, and through. Step, kick, and through. Okay. Okay, now let's switch to the other side. Now we can switch to a southpaw stance or a knee walker box. So I'll go for my two o'clock stance, but I'm just once in. 10 o'clock stance. My feet were hands on the clock, it be about 10 o'clock. So I step with my right, my left this time. Step, out of balance, and kick. See, time. Try and let yourself come back to that same position. Okay. Step, kick. Come back to that same position. Step, kick. Come back to that same position. Now you'll notice it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. The weaker leg, you on your weaker side, okay, and that's all right. Same for everyone, but that's how we make it stronger, okay. So here we're gonna kick a little hard and try and kind of bounce, keep even better control. Step, kick, following all the way through, okay. Now we're gonna go opposite side again. This time, what I want us to do here, if we have it available, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab an object, okay, so here. Got my nice sit stool here, okay? So, I guess you use that, okay? Depending on what your height is, where your challenges are, where your strengths are, where your deficiencies are, it's okay. Making sure that I can keep good outer hip strength as I keep that leg elevated. So, okay. Notice what my arm does. I 
to cross my leg at that moment in time, and it goes the opposite direction of my leg, right? My leg goes up, arm goes down. Leg goes diagonal, arm goes diagonal. Leg goes horizontal, arm goes horizontal, then it gets back around to protect it on the way back. Okay, I'm gonna go by the other side, switch your stance. Step your lead leg, kick your rear. Back to that same position. Step, kick. Back to that same position. Step, kick. Of course, keep with enough speed to make sure that I make it all the way around and balance. Okay. Switch to the other side. This time I'm going to go something a bit higher. Okay. Again, you don't need to. This is again our third level class here, right? So why not go for the rest of here? Okay, I'm going to go for my step stool here. Okay. Here, my control is being seen in keeping my posture upright and slowing down my momentum. There's a cam here, right? Scroll down. Other side. Step the lead leg, kick the rear. Okay, now, all same, left and right this time. Okay, switch as you will. Okay, now first, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move out of the way for now. That was just an example. So, what I'm working for here, so I'm just going to go ahead and right to each kick the switch. Okay, so my switch, I'm just uh, so going to place my open sides here. Okay, lead leg goes back. Back leg comes to lead. One, two, kick. Notice what I'm doing right there, right? I'm bringing my power. To my rear leg each time. Okay. Switch. Kick. Can't go all the way around, go full uh go for 180. Okay, switch. Kick. And switch. Switch. Kick. And facing you this time. Step. Switch. Land in the switch dance, just switch to your strong stance. I go from that 10 o'clock to that 2 o'clock stance. One foot at a time, one arm attacks, the other one counterbalances. You can start getting a little bit higher, right? Stretching, the groin, but also strengthening the hips. Let that arm just click down, create more focus and making my kick powerful and swinging my arm for the counterbalance. Nice and top. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some water. Back in 20 seconds. Okay, so here, I'm gonna go back down to the ground again here. Okay, so we can start with our kick throughs like we did before. Then here we're gonna add a little bit of rotation to that same crab position that we did earlier. Okay, so for example, right, we know the kick throughs, bringing my hands just beneath my shoulders, and I wanna make sure that I'm really um, strong and straight my arms here, right? Not really using muscle here, right? With my arms bent, I want to keep them as straight as I can to keep like I'm using structure instead of strength, okay? There'll be a little bit of strength because of the structure as well, okay? So what I'm going to do is raise up, kick up in the sky, land on my foot, and kick through. And here we're going to go at a faster rate this time, one minute straight. Then from there, we're going to this rotating bridge here, okay? So here, we're raise my hips up. It's a bit uh, from my Budokan Pro class, right? So here, when I raise up, raise up. And here, my hands are a little bit closer together than shoulders width apart. So I raise those hips up. And this time, 
I continued from bridge. I raised my corresponding foot off the ground, so it's my left hand, my left knee into my chest, and I bring those hands close together. So I rotate, 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 one hand to the head, one arm to the body, okay? And I go the opposite direction, raise up. Hands land in a triangulated fashion. Two feet wide apart, hands close to center. Up, 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 draw that knee to the chest. I go from bent leg. Raise up, extend the leg slightly. Draw the one knee to the chest. I straighten one. And then we go. Up, those some changing directions each time. Straighten that leg. And then I bend it. Point down. Okay. That's one of your drill. We go one minute each. Okay. Here we go. And feel free at any time. If it's a bit too much. Go we'll just rest and watch me, right? So we can go with proper form as opposed to doing it with speed. Okay. So here we go. At the bell. Lock in that position. Knees slightly on the ground. And here we go. Kick through. Okay. Form and function. Land nice and light on the foot. Those are a bit more dense. Even slower, right? Kick higher. More of a handstand. Just one foot on the ground at a time. 30 seconds. Try to keep those arms as straight as you can. Feel that burn. You may have no choice at this point. Almost there. And switch. Here we go. Bridge up. And start close together. Bridge. Draw the corresponding knee to the chest. Control your rotation. Straight leg. Bend leg. Other way. As you reach up into that bridge, you really feel that extension in the hip. Between the upper body and the lower body. So let that leg weigh nice and heavy. And back to the head, you turn back. And time. Okay, let's get back into that deep squat. Deep squat position here. Okay, arms in between legs, palms pressed together. Get a nice upright posture. Four more breaths. Nice and slow as we go. In through the nose, control exhalation through the mouth. Hands and head hang heavy. Heel toe together. Keep the head and arms heavy. Stay there. Raising one vertebrae at a time. Heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Go from basic spine to the top. Okay, and together. Palm face in front of me. And I go for a big back bend. Open those steps up. 
let the arms sweep out to the side. Palms facing outward. And uh, okay, let's go right away. So you're gonna go to some more striking here, okay? So I'm gonna add our jab and cross like before. Jab cross, my lead hand, okay, is my jab, back hand, my cross, straight thrust punches, okay. But here, when I throw that cross, what I want to do is I want to come introduce a different punch this time, the hook, okay? So, my hook, I'm pulling my right hand back to my head, and I'm going to pull my left shoulder forward, be that pull. So, my jab, my cross, notice my heel rises, and as I draw my hand back, and that heel comes back down to the ground, shoulders are now staggered, hips are now staggered, and I lift that left arm look forward, at an outward angle. Let's bend in my arm here. Okay? So, typically, throw the hook right. Let's throw the palm facing down. Let's throw the palm facing down just for now. Okay? So, here, my shoulder, hand, and elbow all on the same line. So, even when I throw that punch, you may see here, right? I'm protecting my face as well, my shoulder. Okay? So, facing you now, jab, cross, hook. One, two, One, two, heel up, three, heel down. Again, it's more of a guide, not so much a rule, okay? Different styles, even within one art, okay? So, grab that hook, we're gonna throw a round kick, okay? Just so we're kind of moving, shifting our weight to one leg and the other each step, okay? So, so I throw that jab, okay? Get a little, so a little heavy in my back leg. My cross, heavy on my left leg, my front leg, and my hook, back in that right leg. And then back in my left leg for what? My round kick this time. So I have to make sure I bring my left hand back to my head and swing my right arm for good efficiency and balance. And there goes my kick. Okay? So one, two, three, which in boxing is literally our one, two, and three. Boom. Step with the left, kick with the right. Okay, jab, cross up. One, two, three. Hand to the head, one hand away. So I protect myself and kick at the same time. Okay, start with just that. Kick and go. One, two, three. Step, kick. And again, we're imagining a threshold which our shin is going to cross. So that's what I'm kicking with my lower shin, not so much my foot, okay? Even then, my foot is in a nice point of position to get any injury to it if there is the contact. Step and kick. One, two. Again, we go slow. Testing the balance. Notice my breathing here, right? Okay, there'll be variances of breathing person to person. Okay, what I'm doing, making sure that at my imagined point of impact, I am creating resistance in my breath through my teeth. Okay. That's where I'm imagining the impact is. Got better time and spatial awareness for our strike. Okay, now let's go ahead and switch to our weaker side this time. Again, employing that switch. Okay, so now my switch is when I bring my lead leg back and my strong leg forward. Thus, switching the role of each. So, here. I'm gonna go after I go for that kick, okay? I'm just gonna add on to the last routine. Both my cross, hook, cross. Now I'm here, I'm gonna step back with my left slightly, take a bigger step forward with my right, so I have more of an opportunity to land the kick in case of retreat. Okay, so again, both my cross, hook, cross. Back, forward, 
and K. Okay, that was 180. You can go 360 depending on your efficiency, your range. Okay. Now, put it all together. Cat, cross, hook. Here, we'll step right to that kit. Change your guard. And right away, I'm heavy my right leg, so I'm going to pull that right hand again. Exaggeration here, right? Just show you where the edge is coming from. Turn that heel, turn it back down. Maybe not even all the way. Now turn it back up again, switch. Switch your guard. One hand protects, the other way comes down as a counterbalance. One, two, three. Step and kick. Two, three, two, switch. Your guard as well. And kick. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put that to the test at the bell. First, 10 jumping squats. Hands up and butt low. Go. One. Let's go. Two. Big jump. Three. Big jump. Soft landing. Nice, nice. Go, 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 go. Nice and time. Right back in, right away. Switch. Step back into that stance. One, two, three. Step into that kick. Full rotation if you can. Push right off that right leg. Left foot, right cross. Switch your guard and switch your legs. Step back into that stance. One, two, three, step, kick. Again, here we're going to go ahead and play with the speedy because each one, each method has its own goals, its own principles behind it. Okay? I'm going to take slow. I'm showing control, right? The range of motion balance. Maybe then the athletic portion of it is something we practice as well over time. My speed, my balance through speed, my timing, my spatial awareness. So as I turn around, right, I want to make sure that my head turns around before my body does. So I can see what's happening before I turn back around. Call it spotting, even dancing, spotting your target. Right, left, right, switch, spot, 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 and turn around, step back away from your target. One more minute, now more speed. Step back into that stance. Switch. Sprawls 10 hands down first, both legs to the back to my feet, hips with apart, wider than hips with, and up to that jump. Or we just lay it down. So for sprawls, stand up, stop, stand up, or we're back down. What we're not doing is this, we're not doing this, All right? Bend the legs, hands meet. Be kicked back. And that 10 is time. Let's go ahead and get some water. Back in 30 seconds. Okay, back in in 10. Oh, 
All right. Now, we're going to get back down to the ground. Okay, so you can pull out your yoga mats. Face them laterally. Okay, so first move. Okay, so level three class. We're not going to go down to our back anymore. We're going to stay on our butts. Okay, so I switch one foot behind one knee. One knee is up, one knee is down. And again, these knees right here are pretty much encapsulating where someone is. Okay, so if someone is directly off of this side of me right here, that's where I want my hips to be facing. Okay, so obviously, if they start turning, coming over on the other side of me, A, I'm definitely going to follow them with my eyes, but I need to follow them with my hips as well. Okay, so I'm not just going to keep turning, turning, turning. What do I do? I switch. Switch. Come this way. I switch. Okay, so I'm in a good position facing towards them so I can keep them at bay with that check kick there. Right? Standing base, etc. Okay, so we'll graduate into the standing base in a little bit. First, I want to get the core strong to do so. Okay, so here. Combat base. Butt back down, switch right away. Just the button touches. Back down, switch. Rolling over my bottom shin. Each time I'm landing right on my hip. Draw that core into the movement. Switch. All right, I'll do this time. Make sure we know. Keep that lead foot ahead a bit more, right? So that I'm able to stand up forward properly. Okay, again, this is more of a more combat base. This is my base in grappling arts. Okay, so I'm meeting someone who's on the same level as me. And then here's where we engage the both on the ground. So I'm standing, right? We'll go to that next. Let's feel the body, feel the hip stretch, ankle stretch, Achilles stretch. And go along. That's in time. Okay, so now we're going to go into our standing base. So, what we're going to do is imagine, okay, so again, we're on a yoga mat. If you feel like there's too much impact, okay, they really drop from a height. Just going to stay right here. Plus, really low to the ground, or even just on the ground. We're going to roll back to a uh, close to a plow position. Okay, I don't want to go back to full plow. We did earlier. Okay, because what does that do? That really makes me vulnerable, right, to someone that's directly in front of me, especially someone that pushes me down to begin with. Okay? But more advanced moves will have an advanced answer to that in the future. Okay? But for now, yeah, push back. Right? My legs are really, you know, me going head over heels here. It's not very good for me. So I need to stop that momentum with my brick ball. Hands, chest. Outside the hips, I'm going to lose a knee with bring one foot behind one knee relative to whichever direction they're facing, whichever direction they're coming towards me. If they're coming straight from the middle, okay, it's fine. I'll just go to my preferred side, okay, because I still have my hips somewhere in their line. Okay, so uh, they start to come over this side. I'm even going to start switching my knee, my foot position accordingly. Okay, if I throw it back, start coming this way. And I turn onto my side. I don't come straight ahead. I'm onto my elbow, slide the hand in underneath the shoulder, raise up, left foot, right hand, and I extend my foot in that same horizontal fashion. And I extend my arm in place as I base on that foot. Okay, other side. Down I go. Break ball. Here, I'm gonna go with my elbow. And I raise up. I extend 
Notice my knee facing towards you. So that means my toe, my heel facing east, heels facing, uh, toes and heel facing east west. Extend and rise up. Down we go. Drop on that yoga mat nice and soft. Break ball. Lean off to the side. So right here, right? I still have a little bit of a base here, right? Use my elbow at first. And from here, I can protect with my hand. So I rise up. Extend my foot, which is longer, of course, and has more strength of impact. But as I retract it, bring that hand so I can come up into that standing base. Now we go. To the side. Hand through the shoulder, raise up, kick forward, and extend forward. Down, break ball. Raise up, protect the head. From close distance, or I extend to keep it away from getting close in the first place. the shoulder, kick forward, and extend forward. Remember that slight extension, right? I'm not totally extended my leg or my arm. He's up. And kick forward and stand up safely. And time. Okay, now back to standing position. Here we're going to go ahead and add some more thrust to our rotation. Okay, so going for our kicks and knees. Now what I'm doing here is more for my jab cross. One, two. I'm going right ahead to that knee. Knee on the same side. Now notice what I did here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the head with the right hand. Nice and upbeat fashion. Notice my palms facing outside of my body. And I'm going to create a nice hook. Cut behind the head. Knee. Push away. And then two step forward to kick that same object that I push slightly ahead for a longer strike, okay? And it's a bit more advanced of a technique, so we'll follow the footwork if you don't even follow the other principle itself. Jab cross. One, two. Grab, knee, push, kick. Notice I took two steps forward in order to land that kick, okay? Now, I've got fully come around for that kick, I'm gonna add my cross and my hook this time, okay? So I turned around from the right kick, right cross, left hook, boom. Leave that hand out there. Again, hook to the outside. I switch in place for knee. Left back, right hold, knee. Push away for the round kick. And then I step back into my stance, okay? So a similar cadence, just we added another weapon and we took away one, okay? So. One more time, everything together. Jab, cross, step with the left, knee with the right. Bang, pull them towards that knee. Then push them away slightly, pushing with the heel of my palm just to make them the correct distance to land that kick. Okay? Now, right there, land that kick, come back, cross, hook, switch, pull it towards the knee, push them away, and land that kick. Okay, I'll go on for the first few. We'll go ahead and follow along here, folks. Okay, on three minutes and go. One, two. Here comes a step. Knee push, kick. Follow around back to that base. Here I go. Cross, hook, grab, switch, knee, kick. Turn back around. Collide on you. Switch, knee, push, kick. Full turn, and I retreat away, right? Knee, kick, full turn, cross, hook, switch, and push away. Just the right range. 
that kick to the shin, okay? Keep going, guys, okay? Making sure, right, not throw that hook. Have a slight bit in the arm right here, right? So it's not just a thrust weapon, right? It comes at an angle and has centrifugal motion, right? From outside in. That cross, bang, bang. Step into that knee, push away, round kick, pull, turn if you can. Beast back onto that leg for the cross. Bang, switch knee, switch kick. Notice in here, right? When I switch, move the down towards my feet now. Okay? So you can see the position of my feet when I go in for that switch. One, two, right? That one, two step, come right back into range to land the next strike. Knee, step closer for the kick. Is that pushing way too far? Okay, so here we go to the combination. Bang, bang, knee, and use the momentum at that moment in time. Cross, hook, knee, kick. Just under a minute. Start picking up that speed. See. Turn or half turn. Sit, 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 Let's make sure I'm keeping safety first. Right, keep that hand to the head, arm to the body. Twenty seconds. Down, feet back, push up, pull it up into that jumping squat. Ready? And go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Again, I drop low squat, hand secure, feet back, push up. Big jump. It's soft. And it's a number. And at 10 is time. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some water. Sit the safe side position. And stretch while we hydrate. Okay, so here, as we start our cool down, I want to um, just make sure we're mindful of all the um, different uh, intentions um, behind martial arts, um, just in general. I mean, um, what's, what's our objective, if you will, right? Um, I would say more or less, in a nutshell, uh, Self-preservation, okay, and that can encompass many different um, aspects. Okay, so preserve ourselves, nutrition, you know, air, oxygen, right? You know, definitely, you know, those things keep us alive, right? But um, but just um, awareness of our surroundings and um, just use them to our advantage. Okay, so here, um, just want to go ahead and integrate the breath with the motion. Let's go here and uh, toss the feet to the mat. Let's go. Hands in hands. Let's focus on breath. Relax the jaw. Relax the brow. 
the shirt is fine. It's slightly tilted forward. Be mindful of our intake output. In many respects, take in what is useful, letting go of what does not serve us. Any thought disturbances, disturbances at all, thought to be a disturbance. So be present, be breath. Disturbances that come in just a second for what it is. Let it go. Turn to breath. You can start to be here and deeper into the lungs. Feel the difference of sensation in each one. Breathe into the chest, breathe into the back of the lungs, breathe into the base of the Start regulating the breath. Normal, non leaking breath. So letting your body intuitively take in what it needs. Let go of what no longer serves it. Surroundings, open your eyes. I'm not here, I went to a close, a bit of a stretch here as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is come into my cat cow position. Okay, so my feet, as my feet still to the ground, eyes. 
perpendicular to the ground as well as my arms and just my shoulders. Really press the top of the piece of the mat. Go to the chest, pushing my spine up, 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 towards the sky, and really down as my head rises. Exhalation, okay, and heal on the couch. Really crawling into the core for this movement. Rotating my hips, not leaning away, frame from that perpendicular position in the femur. Here, and we'll just stretch the wrist here. All right, I'm just going to turn the palms, fingers facing back, fingers back, fingers forward, fingers forward. Okay. Make sure you can see me. Turn, 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 turn. turn. Making sure that I'm evenly based on all four corners of the hand. And evenly spaced between the fingers. And As always, go into our week and our weekend. Be mindful of body, mind, and spirit. Join me again on Saturday at 3 o'clock. Continue going forward next week, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 3 p.m.